I do not know the words to the song. I do not know the words to the song. I do not know the words to the song. It's the Galaxy Note 9. And it rules them all. For at least a month or so. And then we'll see. So that's how my YouTube career ends, huh? Whose idea was that? You know I can't sing. But I did almost break my leg climbing that hill, so appreciate a like thumbs up. Alright guys, today is the Galaxy Note 9 review, and yes, the king has returned. Now what do I mean by that? Well, Samsung had two really mediocre and terrible years with the Note. You had the Note 7, big debacle on that. Then you had the Note 8, which was a safe bet. Really, it very much was the whole idea that got started of, it's an S8 Plus with a pen. That was it. And now the Note 9 really brought some differences. Did it bring an in-fingerprint scanner like I wanted to? No. Did it bring, you know, some better things like a 4K display like a lot of people wanted? No. And did it bring certain things? No. But is it currently? the best overall smartphone on the market? Yes. If you, if money was no object and you could buy one smartphone currently right now, I can safely say this is the best smartphone out of all of them. So let's get to it. So first and foremost, I like to talk about the big two. The big two are the things that are important to everyone that buys a smartphone pretty much, and that is battery life and camera. These are the two parts that pretty much 90% of people care about and the rest care about the other 10%. So let's go first and foremost. The battery life on this phone is just really amazing. It has consistently stayed around eight hours of screen on time, which is pretty much unheard of for most flagships, as well as the fact that, you know, you can get a full day no matter what. And I mean a full day, not a full work day. I feel that that's confused too many times. Most smartphones will get you through a full work day if they're a flagship, but most, not all of them get you through a full day. And I think that's always misleading about the all day battery life. Not to mention that that kind of testing was done with six hours of streaming. Four of those were over Wi-Fi and two of them were over LT while split screen with navigation. So yes, in our all day battery life test that we did, it really, really passed the test after three days. And now after weeks, it really has been amazing battery life and it truly lives up to the hype, especially if you do those battery tweaks, which someone should send to Linus Tech Tips because I hear he's having problems with his. So overall, the other thing is the camera quality. And I don't care what your favorite YouTuber says because your person might say, oh, well, the camera's good, but is it, is it $500 more worth the Galaxy S9 over the OnePlus 6? Yes, yes it is. So, and then my favorite YouTuber. It doesn't matter what he says. The point is, is that is worth more money to people, again, who really want the best overall. Not the best value, but the best overall. Now the OnePlus 6T is gonna have a better camera and low light, so we're gonna have to see how that goes. But right now, yes, this is the difference you get. And by the way, this same shot was better on the Note 9 than the Pixel XL2 as well as the iPhone X. So although we're gonna be testing out against everything as it comes out, currently right now, the best low light is with the Galaxy Note 9. It also has amazing color accuracy, one of the best selfies out there, and definitely one of the best video qualities. The video you saw in the beginning was shot with the Galaxy Note 9 at 4K 60 frames per second. So yes, this phone really stands out on those features but it's all the extras that you don't always get in other smartphones that really make it amazing. 512 gigs of storage built in on my version along with eight gigs of RAM is just amazing. Especially since Samsung has the fastest built-in storage, my phone has moved absolutely amazing without the need of an SD card, but I still have the option of one if I want one. That is really impressive. Not to mention that even the 6 128, when I did test it out through the beta period and through everything else, it performed really great. 
So what else does it have? It does have the S Pen and I don't care what anyone tells me, I miss the S Pen every time I leave it. Me personally, I love the highlighting any text feature. However, I have found on occasions now that yes, having that pen take a photo really is just a nice uh, convenience feature. And it always is a wow factor. Anytime I show it to someone, that is the thing that sells them on this device. Even though it might not ever be used, it really is something that sells them on this device. You also have the best waterproofing on a smartphone. You have things like wireless fast charging, which is so much better than wireless charging. I feel sorry for all the users that still have to deal with old fashioned wireless charging. It really is just so much better in terms of having all the extras. So now let's get to price. You're talking a thousand dollar smartphone up $60 from last year and talking about a $1,250 smartphone. So these are really expensive smartphones. So overall, is it worth the price? In my opinion, yes. If you want the best smartphone out there, if all you care about is I want the best smartphone out there currently right now that I can buy, yes, it is worth it. It is worth every penny to me to have this smartphone over every other smartphone. I could sell all the other smartphones I have right now and be happy with just this one. However, would I say that if you can afford it, the OnePlus 6 is going to be a great phone for you at half the price? Absolutely. So you have to keep all of that in mind. But overall, yes, I'm gonna say it as of right now, the Galaxy Note 9 is the best smartphone of 2018, but 2018 isn't done yet. So we'll have to wait and see all these new competitors coming out over the next few months, who will dethrone it and who will be the best at the end of the year. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.